What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. Today I wanted to talk about the difference between a 60 cell panel and a 72 cell panel and why you should care. Now keep in mind in this video we're only talking about the biggest of the big production panels. We're not talking about the small size panels. To begin with, let's talk about how solar cells are constructed. Solar panels are made up of flat squares of silicon that are called cells. So in a 60 cell panel you would have six columns of 10 cells each and in a 72 cell panel you would have six columns of 12 cells each. And as you can see and as you can imagine the 72 cell panel will be slightly larger so that it'll be a little bit taller than the 60 cell panel. Each individual cell produces about half of a volt maximum power give or take. Every cell in a solar panel is wired in series which increases the voltage and keeps the current the same. So for a 60 cell panel, 60 cells in series makes about 30 volts. And for a 72 cell panel, 72 cells in series makes 36 volts or so. So why do solar manufacturers do this and why do you care? Well, a long time ago before grid tied solar came along, manufacturers, they, they basically had to match the voltage of the panels to be able to charge a battery. So there were 12 volt panels, there were 24 volt panels, 36 volt, 48 volt. But when grid tide came along, that requirement went away. There was no reason to stop at 12, 24, whatever volts. They could use any, any voltage they wanted, basically. And that was also the same when uh, maximum power point tracking charge controllers came along for off-grid system. As long as they stayed under 600 volts to keep, to keep in compliance with the electrical code requirements, uh, they could do whatever they want. So eventually the industry settled on 60 cells. Why 60? I'm not sure 100%, but it seems to be because they can put 13 panels in series and stay under that 600 volt uh, requirement. You'll also often see 60 cell panels advertised as grid tied panels and 72 cell panels will be for battery charging or off-grid purposes. So when it comes time to order those panels for your big solar panel system that you're planning, now you'll know the difference between the two. That wraps up this video. If you've liked what you've seen, please hit subscribe and you'll get lots more cool content. Thanks for watching guys.